what's happening everyone? Pragmatic Addict here, I'm back with Jacob. Man, it feels good to be back doing this. So, uh, we obviously reviewed every episode of the past uh, season of Beavis and Butthead. We're huge Beavis and Butthead fans. To say that we were excited for this show it was an understatement. This is probably one... Of, this is, I mean, it's definitely one of the most anticipated things this year, period. But as far as shows, I mean, I can't really say that, like... I'm, I'm anticipated for too many shows. I mean, I want to see Welcome to Dairy, but I don't think that's coming out this year. But, yes, uh, I didn't know when these, we didn't know when these episodes dropped, so we were like, you know what? We just got home from, uh, Phoenix because we had a screener over there for Bo is Afraid and everything. And, uh, so we ended up taking it out. We're like, you know what? Whenever we wake up, that's when we'll do the review. So you guys are getting this review around, well, here it's like 3 in the morning right now. I can't, I went into this kind of, uh, issue with last season where I was like, yeah, so we got the first episodes of the first episode. So obviously with these, with each episode, you get two little mini ones. So I think what I'm going to do this time around is I'm just going to say, yeah, 1-1, 1-2. One one Why didn't I do that in the past season? I don't fucking know. But we saw the first two episodes, uh, episode one, and uh, we're just going to get this out there. It is not as strong as the first season. When we saw, or at least when I saw the last year's revival, when I watched those first two episodes, I was just spanked, <laughs> bare ass, with nostalgia, with continued love for Beavis and Butthead, where I was like, thank you, was that so hard to do? All you had to do was throw in some toilet humor, give a shit about your writing, and you got a good Be Beavis and Butthead revival. I really admired the last season. So, the first two episodes we got, episode one, 1-1 uh, is meditation, and 1-2 is called pulling pace. So, let's talk about meditation real quick. So, right off the bat, it shows the guys in a field with uh, Van Dreesen, of course, with some other, like, students from the high school, and this felt instantly like uh, a callback. I was thinking of the original episode from the classic show, when they're in anger management. It's the one where... Beavis gets the bat and he's killing the fucking pillow. It reminded me of that where it's showing a montage of each character's thoughts. Clear your mind. Don't think. Wait, where did I park? Uh. What I really liked right off the bat is obviously when you're doing meditation, you do the um thing. And it shows like <laughs> each character that gets the butt head and you, or Beavis and inside of his, you know, head. And he's just like. Uh, <laughs> cause obviously it's Beavis, so I thought that was kind of cute, but basically what this episode is, is that while they're meditating, they end up astral projecting, where they pretty much have out of bodies experiences, and I'll say this, like, throughout the episode, it was that kind of humor where I was like, okay, I, I get it, there's some laughs here and there, but nothing, as far as payoffs and punches, it didn't really pay off and nothing really landed a punch. So basically while they're astral projecting, they end up descending into like paradise or whatever. And for whatever reason, they think it's Arizona. And as Arizona locals, <laughs> we were like, okay, it, I don't get it, but whatever. And they end up meeting uh, a bunch of gods, right? They end up meeting like Zeus and Buddha and Jesus. And basically while they're having these out-of-body experiences, while they're in paradise or whatever, having whatever you want to call it, they're basically just being shitheads to these gods. <laughs> they just kind of um, get into the one place every Buddhist wants to go their whole lives, and then they uh, they treat it like it's just some ordeal. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Like uh, they basically get there and they find out that they can grant wishes, so they get like a bunch of nachos, and then uh, uh, Buddha and Zeus and everything. They've never experienced nachos. So, they start eating the nachos, and then Beavis and Butthead are pissing them off, so eventually all the gods gang up on them. It's stupid shit like that where I'm like, okay, I, I get it, I guess, I see what you're doing for whatever fucking reason. It just didn't pay off for me. Like, I didn't watch this and was having knee slappers throughout the episode, you know, pissing my pants, because I was laughing so hard. I was just kind of like, ah. But what I do want to talk about with this episode is the... Uh, and uh, the next episode as well is the cutaways. So in this one, they're watching the Lil Nas X 
music video where he's in prison and everything and all the dudes are dancing in the shower. Uh, that goes down exactly how you'd expect it for Beavis and Butthead to watch this. And another callback uh, that I noticed of, 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 about this one, uh, which I am just going to state really quick, Beavis is just shining throughout both of these episodes. He's classic Beavis. Even with how mixed I was on these episodes, I just loved Beavis throughout. But he, he, they're basically commenting on the scene where they're all dancing naked in the shower. And then Beavis goes on this tangent about how he's like, you know, Oh yeah, you pee and poop in the shower. Where it felt classic where Beavis will say things, but it's just kind of like... That's pretty disgusting, Beavis. What are you talking about? It's in my basement in little jars. <laughs> that's pretty disgusting, Beavis. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and Beavis is like, yeah, you know, you poop in the shower, you mash it down with your foot. Oh, God. <laughs> and it's just one of those things where you're just like, Beavis, just, just go kill yourself, please. <laughs> but at the end of it, as a premiere episode, it just didn't do nearly as much for me as the last episode did, or the last season's premiere did. I think that was the escape room and then the one where they get stuck in the box. This didn't do nearly as much as that, where with those episodes, I was like, it's about time. We, why haven't we seen these guys go through an escape room before? Why haven't we seen these guys get stuck in a box before? <laughs> you seen them get stuck in the pipe, but this one where it's like they're meditating and stuff. It was, even before I saw the episode, I, 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 and I saw the, you know, episode title, I wasn't like, oh man, I can't wait to see that meditation episode. But there was some callbacks to the classic Beavis and Butthead throughout the entire episode, which I did enjoy here and there. But overall, guys, I am feeling mixed on episode 1-1. I want to give this one specifically just kind of um, a 6.1, mainly because that last episode, uh, polling plays, to kind of... <laughs> It kind of slapped a little, not entirely. It was just kind of a little more funnier than the first one, I guess. This whole episode just wasn't the same as last season at all. It just kind of... No. kind of seems like they slapped it all together and just kind of went with, okay, let's use these jokes. These will get a few laughs. People are going to definitely like this. But it didn't feel like... They were trying as hard as they did mm -hmm. last season. Exactly, yeah. I felt like with last season, they had a lot more care and a lot more pressure to like, okay, let's make this a sex successful revival. And since it was so successful, they're like, cool. Oh, our job is done. And it's like, you realize you just premiered a, se a season two, right? So I'm hoping that episode two delivers better. But now let's talk about episode 1-2, which is Pulling Place. So before, maybe this is just because I'm a complete bastard, but I didn't know what Pulling Place meant like i saw the title card and i was like polling place it... what, is, what the hell does that mean <laughs> and basically uh so this episode starts off i will say it started off much better than the previous one basically the episode op opens up and they're watching a video and then it starts buffering and right there i was just like see that's fine it's one of those things where it's like if for a beavis and butthead revival pitching the idea yeah we're gonna see these guys experience a uh, buffering for the first time that works for a Beavis and Butthead episode alone. And for this intro, with us experiencing that, that was fine as it was. But basically what ends up happening, how the episode plays out, is that while their video is buffering, they decide to take a walk, and then they discover a polling place, which is a voting ballot. And polling, they obviously think it's a strip club. So, uh, <laughs> so, so, and, and what I want to say is just, it's one of those things where it's right before it cuts, it gets to the cutaway, it kind of ends off with, like, where the episode's gonna end up playing out, and Butthead's just like, let's go get down and dirty in the club, Beavis. <laughs> and then it goes to the cutaway, and it was right there where I was just like, oh, God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but now we are talking about the cut cutaway. Uh, I, I will also say that the cutaway is about as good as the, as the previous one. Uh, and the episode 1-1, I do think that sadly the cutaway was like the best part, and I do think that where it may not be the best part of the episode in this one, I do think that overall Polling Place is a better episode than 1-1, but basically in in this cutaway they're commenting on people using like metal detectors, and obviously they're finding like shit like dirt buried in the dirt and Beavis is just commenting how they're, like when, when he's eats stuff and takes a dump and finds stuff in his crap, he doesn't brag about it. 
<laughs> so it was just one of those things where I'm like, okay. Beavis is being Beavis definitely this season around. Another kind of classic feel about this episode is that uh, it, then, it then shows them in line, uh, you know, getting into the place and everything, and they're just behind, like, a line of elderly people. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead are just commenting, yeah, there's a lot of old perverts here. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm saying how this kind of, like, had a feel of, like, a classic episode, uh, one of the elderly guys starts talking to them about Reagan and everything, and obviously Beavis and Butthead not knowing shit about presidents or anything. Butthead just kind of replies, oh, is she a slut? So it was that kind of, again, it's that kind of humor where throughout of it, throughout it, I was just kind of like, uh... <laughs> like, I get where they're going for. It just didn't pay off and it didn't land, like last season where I was just like, why haven't we seen this yet? Like, for, like, on paper, this idea sounds fine, but when you look back at this in retrospect, it just doesn't land. And even, like, going further where they actually get into the polling place and they see the voting booths behind the curtains where they think it's, like, a champagne room, and then they eventually see the book of all the people to vote for and everything, they think that that's where you order the stripper. <laughs> So, again, throughout the episode, I'm, there's things where I get what they were going for. It just did not come out with a bang like I wanted it to. Uh, this older lady comes and uh, she lets them know, like, she thanks them for voting pretty much, where Beavis thinks that she's a stripper. And right, right off the bat, I'm just like, I get what you're going for. But Beavis would not want to fuck this older woman. I'm just, I'm just saying. Or he wants to fuck older women to an extent. But this one, uh, it just didn't hit me like classic Beavis and Butthead did. I'm just gonna say it. Um, Butthead in all these episodes doesn't even really give anything lately. It just seems like it's Beavis that's delivering. Yeah, more. he kind of felt like a side character for the most part. And it's called Beavis and Butthead, <laughs> and usually it's Butthead that's kind of the one that's in charge, but it just seems like the one that's in charge isn't really taking charge if you catch my drift. I also did like how the episode wrapped up, which how it wraps up, they basically are, it shows them walking, they have the I Voted stickers on and everything, and then they actually get to a strip club where... Obviously, they see it and they're like, well, we outsmarted them this time, Beavis. We're not going in there. Not from our last experience. And there's like a literal sign next to them that says, voters, get in for free. So it's like, I again, it was one of those things where it never gave me the belly last and the knee slappers that I expected or wanted to, especially compared to the last season. But it was just one of those things where I got the idea, just the punches and payoffs, they just didn't land for me. And overall, guys, yeah, for both of these episodes, I am giving them both mixed reviews, which obviously episode one of season two does get a mixed review from me. And as far as episode rankings, I would rank so far Polling Place above Meditation. My review is going to be a um, 5.9 for Polling Place. It just... <laughs> Then it slapped me as much as it could have. It's just... Yeah, I know you said you liked it better than the past one. I did. But yeah, that's kind of how I feel. I'm like, they're not bad, per se, but they're not good, per se, either. They're just kind of there. But yes, guys, that is going to do it for episode one review. We're going to get right back to it and dive into episode two, and then we will do this review right after. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is great being back with you all again. Let's get this party started.